we have the ability to create gradual or drastic tempo changes to our song within Studio One, and we can accomplish this with the tempo track. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. We can access the tempo track by clicking on this button here, and we can see that our tempo is currently at 85 beats per minute, as also set here within the transport bar. And first, let's listen to the track here just for a little bit. Okay, so we have an idea of the flow of the song and, and the pace of it. So adding changes is a pretty simple thing to do. We would just come to any area where we'd like to begin the change. Say we'd like to begin it here. We can click once to add an, a point and that goes in at 85 beats per minute. And let's come to bar 21 and click here. We have our second point. And then I can click hold and drag up or down to raise or lower the uh, BPM. Let's just make that pretty drastic actually. Take that all the way up to 114. Now let's come back to the beginning here and hear how that change sounds. We can see our tempo in the transport updating as well as here. Okay, so we could have also, when we come to the center of this ramp, we have this handle that pops up and we can actually click hold and drag that to create a curve. Let's hear how that curve sounds. Okay, so that's how we can create that change. If we'd like to remove any point, we can simply double click on it to take that out. I'll double click to put it back and let's raise that up. While it's highlighted, we can also press the delete key on the QWERTY keyboard. Let me be sure that's highlighted. Okay, there it goes. Now we can also add points by positioning our song cursor where we'd like to add a point and then click on the plus button. We can then click in this field here and then say we'd like to make that 95. I'll press enter. And then now we have an increase to 95 at this point where our cursor is. While our cursor is still positioned here, we can click on the minus button to remove these points. And if you notice here, we have a max and min setting of 200 and 240 for the max and 60 for the min. This is gonna give us the range that we're seeing here. Um, so if we'd like to narrow that focus down to say, most songs aren't going to have this drastic of a change. So we could narrow that down to, let's say 100, I'll press enter and we're not going to go below 80. So now the focus range here within our tempo track is going to be between a maximum of hundred BPM and 80 BPM. This just gives us a greater resolution when we're working with our tempo changes. I'll drag this up. Now we saw the handle that pops up here that we can use to create curves. Also, if we hover at the top of the tempo track, we do have a trim tool that becomes available. And when that's active, we can click hold and push down to take that down or pull that up. And the last thing that I'd like to mention is if we right click within the ruler here, we have a couple of different options to view our changes. So we are in beat linear at the moment and in beat linear, beat linear, our bars maintain the same length, but time scale shifts to match our tempo changes. Now, if we were to change to time linear, then the bars will change their visual length to match their tempo changes. So let's see zoom in on this change here and let's make that a little bit more drastic. I think I added a point and let's pull this one down. So we can see our bars as they are 
they're all of equal length. But if I right click and let's switch our time base to time linear, then we can see that we have a change in that. Coming back to the beat linear. And the effect that this has is going to be a little bit different. Say if we were to have our time base right now is set to bars. If we were to set this to seconds, and then let's change this again to time linear. Then we can see this is going to adjust based on our settings here. Okay, and this is how you can go about using Temple Track within Studio One Four.